Orlando is bringing the mayhem on this Team Thunder themed track. The elevated section proved to be too much for our past racing champions, leaving the door open for Blake Thompson to swoop in and finally get his first W Racing Championship. Coming up, some W freestyle action you don't want to miss. This is the Rigs of Rod semi realistic point series, and this is Monster Jam! Hello everybody and welcome back to the ROR SRPS channel. My name is Preston Vieira and I'll be your host as we take on Camping World Stadium for the All-Star Challenge Tour featuring Team Thunder vs. Team Mayhem all season long in the biggest team points fight in Monster Jam history. Tonight we watch as Blake Thompson in Hypershock tries for the W Double Down and with 3 out of 4 freestyle championships under his belt so far this season, I'd say he has the best chances of anyone here. Let's check out our freestyle lineup, starting with Preston Perez in Monster Mutt Rottweiler, Cynthia Gauthier in Lucas Stabilizer, Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare, and then it's Bryce Kenny in that Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Fire, Jake Cranford representing Team Mayhem with Grave Digger, Trevor Goldberg for Team Thunder with Max D, EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder, and then it's Cam McQueen in Bro Camino finishing out the first half. Kicking off the second half, it's our sub, Charlie Pawkin in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Team Mayhem, Devin Barber in Avenger, Rick Steffens in Blown Money, and John Gordon in Bad Company. Then it's Barry Musawa in Zombie, Shane Lake for Grave Digger for Team Thunder, then for Team Mayhem, it's Zach Antizana in Max D. And closing out the night, it's our W Racing Champion tonight, Hypershock Blake Thompson, also leading the tour in season points right now. Preston Perez in Monster Mutt hits the track, or Monster Mutt Rottweiler more specific. This is going to be an interesting night of freestyle, to say the least. Um, very interesting track, very atypical from what we have normally seen. Um, a lot of drivers may stay away from this elevated section. Apparently not Preston Perez. I don't know if he's just taking a complete lap or what is going on. But no, it looks like he's actually going to attempt something here. Maybe a stoppy, which would be very interesting. I would love to see how these drivers uh, tackle a stoppy down the ramp. Preston Perez is going to show us how it's done to get the run started. Look at this. Nice. Keeping it down on all four BKTs as well. No rollover to kick off the run. What a move from Preston Perez to start out the night. Definitely setting the tone for this track. Um, but back to what I was saying, man, this is an interesting track to say the least. Not much in the way of uh, typical freestyle flow here. Um, you just kind of have to pick your battles and do what works for you, I guess. First 30 seconds are complete for Preston Perez as he walks it up and over that little jammer in the back. Gonna take on the cars here. Nice little hit. Kind of an awkward landing. Very interesting ways to approach this track. Look at this. Looking for a save. Oh, gets real close to the wall, but he's not shut off. They're going to let him save it. He brings it around onto all fours. Nicely done for Preston Perez in that Monster Mutt Rottweiler truck. He's going to go right into a backflip as well. And he gets it done beautifully, walking out a moonwalk as well. Preston Perez is turning up. He is in last place in terms of season points right now. And he is definitely looking for more. And you can tell he's coming out here really going hard, really bringing out some insane moves. A nice little leap there over the racing lane has been adjusted uh, for some more air here in the freestyle competition. Nice leap in the back of the track down there. 30 seconds left, less than 30 seconds. Oh, nice. Nice little twist move there from Preston Perez. And he got another bicycle down the track. He's turning up, man. He's having a solid run. This has been a lot of fun. A little awkward at first. And uh, it's definitely going to be awkward tonight on this track. But it's all about who can master it. Look at this. Oh, trying for the save. It's not going to happen. Three seconds left on the clock for Preston Perez. That's going to get him a 34.5, though. I think that's one of the highest opening scores we've had all season. 34.5 for Preston Perez. That could very well hold all night. I'm very curious to see if this is going to be a high-scoring show and people are just going to be 
you know, 30, 30, 30 all night long, or if Preston Perez really laid it all out on the line to kick off the night. Cynthia Gauthier and Lucas Stabilizer coming out next. Two minutes on the clock. She's going right for that massive leap into the little triple set we got here. We got a bus stack, a backflip ramp, and a step up that'll absolutely launch you. <laughs> I'm not sure uh, what the track designers were thinking this time around, man. This is a, an interesting one, to say the least. Cynthia Gauthier looking for her next big hit. Look at that. Nice lead. The first one to take on that car stack, I believe. I don't think uh, Preston Perez took that thing on. That's an interesting one. Nice butt kicker from Cynthia Gauthier as we cross those 30 seconds. She'll be getting a score for this run. Looking for a slap wheelie right into the backside of that racing lane. Doesn't quite pick it up as high as I'm sure she wanted to, but did pick up some speed. Uh, had to let it go, though. That would have sent her into the wall. you got to be careful. Look at this cross thread onto the bus, stuffing it right on top of it. Nice, man. I mean, this is a – there's a, uh, some open spaces, but really you got to be careful where you're sending the truck. Look at this. Another bicycle from another driver here, Cynthia Gauthier, killing it. Getting it down onto all four BKTs and going right for that racing lane. Got to be careful. For the wall, she does keep it safe, but that was a close one. Uh, too close for comfort, for sure. Uh, definitely be careful how you hit that racing lane. you got to stay away from the walls, man. Speaking of the racing lane, she's going right around for the other one with a nice leap. Bigger error than anything we've seen in the racing competition all night long. That's for sure. Final 25 seconds are here. She's going to chuck it into some donuts and potentially a backflip. She is down there. I'd love to see. Yep. I was about to say, I'd love to see her bring one out. And yes, absolutely great landing as well. Not enough uh, for a stoppy or a moonwalk. And she's struggling here. Oh, picking it up onto the nose. That was a cool little stoppy move on the uh, <laughs> on the up ramp there. This is going to be a 32.5. So it looks like we may just have a high scoring show here. 32.5 for Cynthia Gauthier. She goes over a hard hit on the roof and that is going to put an end to her night Cynthia Gauthier a solid uh solid run solid attempt i not sure if that was worth the 32.75 definitely wasn't worth the lead though and we got that two minutes on the clock for Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare he's going to combo up that little triple set here nicely done it is not possible to clear the triple I will tell you that right now so don't try it you're just going to hurt your truck um <laughs> Nice uh, little sky wheelie up and over the step up. The first one to take that thing on tonight. I'm surprised uh, none of the other drivers have. He's up on two wheels and is able to bring it down. Nicely done. That's going to add some points to the score for sure as he mutilates those cars. And he's going to cross those first 30 seconds as well. He'll be getting a score for this run. Oh, nice. Look at that. That's how you pop it up onto the nose, man. Great move. From Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare, he has been struggling for uh, points this season. He's third in the point standings overall right now. Or not third, excuse me, uh, 14th <laughs> in the point standings overall right now. And uh, I would love to see him uh, turn up a little bit and, you know, live up to that Northern Nightmare freestyle champion uh, potential that we got behind this truck, the history of that Northern Nightmare name. He's not living up to it, not doing too well so far this season, uh, but neither is Rottweiler, and the, those two trucks have the exact same setup. So, I mean, is, is, it, is it his fault or is it the truck, man? Uh, 30 seconds left, just about. He's gonna go for a reverse backflip, and he's gonna land right on the roof. 32 seconds left on the clock. That's only going to be a 21 for Dave Reed. Another rough score, another rough night going down in round two, or excuse me, round one of racing and uh, going over way too early in freestyle. Next out on the track, though, is Bryce Kenny in Great Clips Mohawk Warrior Fire representing Team Mayhem. He is here to throw down just like he does every show. I am surprised that he's way down here. I don't know what happened to the... Uh, <laughs> to the leaderboard why he's so low he's been killing it look at this starting us off with a great stoppy trying to walk it up the ramp doesn't quite work so he says ah, i'll go reverse and he's gonna walk out the moonwalk nice keeping it up on those front two tires 15 seconds killed and he gets right into the bus ramp 
to close out these next 15 seconds, hopefully to get a score. Looks like he will be as he crosses those first 30 seconds. Bryce Kenny and Mohawk Warrior, I just mentioned it. He's been killing it these past few shows, really letting this thing rock, letting the truck do what it wants, suggesting that he pulls off some uh, awesome moves, and it just happens to work out for him. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Trying to clear it. He's in trouble. Hard hit on the roof. Another one. That's what happened in, in uh, Tampa. That's why he's so low. He took a hard hit, and uh, they shut him off and wouldn't let him continue. So that put him down in the ranks. Uh, he's shut off here. They do let him refire, though. A minute and nine seconds left on the clock. Um, how are you going to pick up the momentum now? Now we got a dead spot. Now you got to get back into the flow. Big leap to get back on the pedal, though. Nicely done for Bryce Kenny in Mohawk Warrior Fire. I would love to see him keep that energy for the rest of this run, and it looks like he's going to. Beautiful. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, and he gets a consecutive stuffs it right into the backflip, the trench box. And uh, 40 seconds left on the clock. He is still running. Got it. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Up on the nose once again. Reverse. Yup, he's been killing it with these stoppies. Oh, man. Bryce Kenny knows this truck, man. He's had a season in it already here on the ROR SRPS channel. He was here in season one, burned it down, made it to the world finals, burned it down again. Tonight, he is looking for another invite to the world finals. He's low in the points rankings right now. He's trying to get up higher, and a freestyle championship would definitely help him do that. Nice sky wheelie. Oh, and another stoppy. To close out the run, we got another one. Beautifully done as he sets it down. That's going to get him a 38. I think that's the highest score we've had on this tour so far this season. And he's going to park it up on the step up to close out the run. Bryce Kenny and Mohawk Warrior burned it down and got himself potentially a winning run. And it's going to be tough to beat a 38. I can tell you that much. Jake Cranford and Gravedigger coming out next. And he's definitely going to give it his best to take that top spot. But you would have to be almost perfect or perfect to get a better score than a 38. Jake Cranford, solid freestyler, definitely uh, has some guts behind the wheel. We'll say guts. <laughs> um, and uh, not afraid to take on some of the bigger hits, not afraid to mix it up and do something we haven't seen before tonight. I would love to see him... Uh, do that again but it looks like we might get another stoppy which we have seen before uh from Preston Perez in Monster Mart Rottweiler if he can do a variation something new that'd be oh oh going for a slap wheelie down the ramp there nice we haven't seen that yet that was cool gonna keep this run going over the bus stack gonna get it to tr oh no, truck handles it nicely, but that is definitely something that could get you in trouble. If you're going to cross it up like that and try to avoid that backflip ramp, you really have to steer away from it. Oh, look at this. Standing it straight up on the nose on top of that step up, and then he stuffs it right into the backflip trench box. That's a, <laughs> a way, to, way to keep the run going there. Nicely done over the van stack. Jake Cranford. Another driver that went over early in Tampa, Florida, rolled it up against the uh, dumpsters or the, the, the barrier, excuse me. Looking for some way to turn this up. Solid run so far for sure, but the energy, the momentum just doesn't back it as much as uh, we saw from Bryce Kenny, to say the least. Here's a nice little cross thread over the bus stack. Nice. And he's going to take that right into the backflip ramp. Nail it. Nice. Beautifully done. Great moonwalk as well. And he's going to turn that right into a reverse move. Keep it going. Nicely done, man. 30 seconds left on the clock. A cross thread over the trench box. It's really hard hit on the rear end. But keeps it down on all four BKTs, man. Jay Cranford looking for his first freestyle championship. He's in trouble. Clock is stopped. They shut him off. He was heading upside down with some speed towards those barriers. Of course, they're going to shut him off. Are they going to let him keep running is the question. The clock is still there. 
yeah, they, they do let him refire. He is still running. Close it out big, man. Close this run out with a bang. Going to take on the little set of cars in the back. In an awkward spot here, though. What's next? Going to take on the step up, launch it. Nice. Solid landing. And with five seconds left, there's only so much he can do. He's going to chuck it into some donuts. Jake Cranford fills the clock here in Orlando, Florida, and that's going to get him a 31 as he chucks the truck over onto the roof. Jake Cranford, solid run, solid score, but not enough for the top spot tonight. We'll see him again next time on the All-Star Challenge Tour. But next out on the track is Trevor Goldberg in Max D representing Team Thunder, bringing back that Nitro body was able to qualify this truck in the qualifiers, the season two qualifiers. Nice leap going right. Whoa, that was an interesting, he tapped those brakes on the landing there, kind of rode those front wheels only up the ramp. Um, but killing the, uh, oh my goodness. You are kidding me, that was a massive hit. And that's gonna set, oh, tags the wall. I'm surprised he's still running, uh, but he's unable to get the save. Uh, they definitely should have <laughs> should have shut the truck off a little faster, but that's going to get him a zero, which means zero points for the freestyle competition as well. Not just a zero score, zero season points. That puts him at risk for the night. Edward John Hyden in Blue Thunder coming out next. We'll see how EJ can do here in Orlando. This is a, a truck eater so far. We've had a, a few... A few full clocks, uh, three, I believe, uh, and two shorter ones. <laughs> nice big leap from EJ Hyden to get the run going, though. Oh, look at that, a little wheelie over that set of cars. That was awesome. Interesting way to hit that. I don't know if it was uh, intentional. I don't know really how you could plan that, but <laughs> a solid hit for sure. Look at the leap over the van stack as well. I think he's going to come out here and try to hit every... Uh, every obstacle at least once nice slap wheelie down the track as well now he's in a tough spot this is where Cynthia Gautier was those ramps really do not make it easy for these drivers to turn their trucks around and head into the next obstacle nice little cross thread completely clearing that car set unlike what we saw from Dave Reed in Northern Nightmare misses the gear there um, <laughs> But he's keeping it going. Oh, nice little cross thread. Getting a little ragged edge in the air there as we get down to the minute mark. He's going to chuck it into a backflip. Beautifully done. One wheel down the track. Oh, my goodness. EJ Hyden with an insane moonwalk there. Cross thread. He's in trouble, though. Hard hit on the roof. They let him continue. He brings it back around. What a save. This is um, a run so far, man. This may be a contender for the top spot for uh, Bryce Kenny. We'll see how it goes here. Nicely done over the little jammer in the back. Really needs to come up with something original aside from that one save. Oh, my goodness. Massive sky wheelie. He's in trouble. Uh, does tag the wall. They, uh, I guess they've learned from Max D because they do shut him off for just a small tap. Uh, he was out of control heading into the wall, though, so I, I do understand why they shut him off. Um, back on it, man. He's right back into the run. Nice leap over the racing lane there, the back side of the racing lane. Getting right back into it. Oh, another cross thread. Keeps it uh, more in control this time. Not the cleanest landing, though. Oh, EJ Hyden, man. He is a freestyler for sure. A solid racer as well as he goes down. Another truck with three seconds left on the clock. That run's only going to be a 28. So, I don't know. I mean, it definitely was not uh, Bryce Kenny's run, I'll tell you that much. But uh, 28 seems a little low to me. Cam McQueen in Bro Camino is going to come out next. And talk about freestylers, man. This guy has been turning up throughout the season. Um, looking for new ways to get things started every time. Uh, or get things going every time not not started he doesn't kick off the run with brand new stuff every time but two minutes on the clock we'll see what he does tonight to get things going night oh my goodness massive sky wheelie rough landing right on that wheelie bar we'll see if he can keep that energy throughout the rest of the run i would love to see it 
He's going to combo up the double, which nobody's done yet. Nice. I mean, it, it was a move. It, he, he got through it. He's on all fours. Uh, not, not going as big as we'd like to see, though. Nice little hit there over the van stack. Halfway, or excuse me, a minute and 30 seconds left on the clock. So he'll be getting a score for this run. Oh, look at that. Absolutely chucks it up onto the nose. In trouble here, though. Nice. Keeping it down on all fours. Getting that truck out of trouble. Keeping the run going. Can he fill the clock? Getting down to that halfway point. This is where <laughs> typically people would start to go more wild. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Kim McQueen and Bro Camino turning up now. He, he has moves. He's killing it with the moves. It's more so a momentum thing, I think, with this run uh, if it scores poorly. Beautiful moonwalk on that backflip. He's going to walk it back like we saw Jake Cranford do. He's in trouble, though. Gets it down in reverse. Back onto all four BKT tires. Look at this move. I mean, oh, man. 30 seconds left on the clock. I mean, what's what's left? <laughs> the only thing I could think of is heading up up top. Uh, well, yep, here he goes. <laughs> I was gonna say the uh, oh, I was gonna say the the ramp over there, walk a walk a moonwalk or something. But look at this, he's gonna air that thing out. Oh my goodness, that's the biggest air of the night as he gets into trouble here. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say let that thing settle, but he's gonna walk it out. Cam McQueen, what a, oh, and he brings it back down. That's going to be a 32.5. Cam McQueen, what a run. Uh, I Yeah, I could get behind a 32.5, but that is going to do it for the first half already. If you guys are enjoying this wild night of freestyle, we got new episodes every Saturday, so subscribe, stick around, hit that like button, and let me know in a comment down below if you're enjoying the show. Head over to Instagram for new content every day. We got early access to the week's racing bracket pit party pictures and more. Also, check out the ROR SRPS store. Mohawk Warrior holds the lead with a 38. He may be up there all night long. 34.5 for Rottweiler and a 32.75 for Cynthia Gauthier. And then down at the bottom, it's Max D for Team Thunder with zero points. And that is going to hurt. Like I said, he's at risk right now. He is the only one down at the bottom, but he made it into round two tonight. So he has four points to his name. There is a possibility for Charlie Pockin or anybody to get below him. Anybody who went out in round one of racing could get below him and uh, take that bottom spot. But speaking of Charlie Pockin, absolutely launching it in that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle truck. He is our substitute for the week, and he is looking to turn up and get a freestyle championship. Now, Hypershock, Blake Thompson, three freestyle championships to his name for the season, for the Hypershock name for the season, and uh, he has a MTL setup. That is the, the way the truck handles. Oh, Charlie Pockin tags the barrier big time. They don't shut him off, though. Um, definitely don't do that. He's in trouble here. Throws it in reverse. Oh! Oh, my goodness. Wow. That, that's what I'm talking about. Nice bicycle. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. The MTL setup for Hypershock really allows him to do some things that some of these other drivers could only dream of doing, and that's why he's won so many freestyle championships. Charlie Pockin in this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle truck has an MTL setup. He's able to do some things that these drivers could only dream of. He's going to go for the first one to take on the trench box in the middle, but a rough setup to that backflip gets him into trouble, but he gets another save. I mean, this is this is a run, man. This If anybody has a shot, at knocking out Bryce Kenny, it's either it's either Blake Thompson or it's it's Charlie Pocket. I can tell you that much right now. This is a run, and there's still 30 seconds left. Can he turn up enough to grab that top spot? Looks like he's gonna go for the triple, combo it up. Nicely done, solid through the center. Gonna go for the butt kicker as well on the back of it. Oh, yo, nice. Keeping it off the barriers there, unlike what he did earlier in the run. Guy's got to learn to stay off the barriers, man. You're going to get into trouble. 
Oh! Corkscrew for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What? Charlie Pawkin ends up with a 28 for that run. Um, that is low. That ties him with EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder. I don't know, man. Devin Barber in Avenger. That, man, that is a robbery. Devin Barber in Avenger coming out next, and it looks like he's going to bring out some typical Team Scream air to kick off the run. So lining up for that step up. Two minutes on the clock. Nicely done. A massive sky wheelie over that step up. Not much of a run up, but the suspension on this truck can get you into trouble if you hit something vertical too fast. <laughs> I'll tell you that much, man. You, you're looking at a massive sky wheelie that turns into a half backflip and then your run is done. So I get uh, going a little lower than others, but massive sky wheelie still went big. And uh, Devin Barber looking to turn it up. He's going he's gonna to launch it. 30 seconds down. He's going to be getting a score as he absolutely airs that thing out over the racing lane. What a leap. That is the biggest air of the night so far. Devin Barber, turn it up. I'd love to see him get his first freestyle championship. Can he do it here in Orlando, Florida? Devin Barber, as of show four, as of Tampa, last show, he's been uh, picking out the Avenger schemes for these shows. What a save. Nicely done. Kind of got into some trouble there, but he keeps the run going, man. We love to see it. Massive leap there with a slap wheelie as well. Uh, Devin Barber's been picking out these Avenger schemes, man. This week he decided to go with that classic neon green Avenger, and I am loving it. It's good to see that thing come out. I love seeing the custom bodies. I love seeing the World Finals bodies come back, but it's good to, good to have the classic around every once in a while, man. Massive leap there. Gets into a little bit of trouble on the landing, but uses it to get a slap wheelie. Look at this. Perfect backflip. Kind of a rough landing there, but a perfect backflip. For Devin Barber, he's in trouble here, though. Go, go, go. Oh, he got it. Oh, no. Oh, you are kidding me. 13 seconds left. Was so close to getting that save, and that's only going to get a 25. So, you know, scores. Uh, you love to see it. Rick Steffens in Blown Money coming out next, representing Team Thunder. No longer the reigning W Racing Championship that is held by Blake Thompson in Hypershock looking for his first double down tonight. Rick Steffens looking for his first freestyle championship. Can he get it here in Orlando? Looks like he's going to start us off with a stoppy down the, down the up ramp that we used in racing. See how this goes for him. Nicely done, setting it up. Oh, nicely done. Pulls those rear tires right back down to the ground. Got into trouble there. Could have got into some major trouble. Could have went over and put an end to his night early. That is going to keep this run going, man. I mean, <laughs> let, let's, see, let's see where this goes. Can he top a 38 out of 40, guys? I don't know if uh, everybody who's watching knows the total, uh, the, the max score. But 40, 38 out of 40. Look at that from Rick Steffens. What a save. Gets a little barrel roll pirouette thing and brings it back around onto all fours. You guys got to come up with a name for that. Best name uh, in the comments. Uh, gets a free sticker. Gets a free ROR SRPS sticker. Let's do that. Most likes. Gets an ROR SRPS sticker. One minute left of this run as he gets an awesome slap wheelie down the track. What's next? I know you guys are commenting in the live right now. Comments in, in the comments section. Names in the comments section. Nice. Oh, he's in trouble. Hard hit on the roof. And he's looking. Yeah, no. That's not going to happen. 45 seconds left on the clock. That's only going to get a 17. Now, luckily, he made it up into round two. So he is going to be fine. But... That is a rough score. You don't want to go out that early. John Gordon in bad company coming out next, representing Team Mayhem, our dubby runner-up in the racing competition tonight. Nice leap into the center to get us started. The novelty is kind of worn off from the triple, uh, the triple set there. You combo it up. 
It was it was awesome the first couple times. It's still a great move. He's in trouble already. Oh, oh man. Yeah, again, it's similar to what we saw from Megabyte. No good way out of that situation. That's going to be a zero for John Gordon tonight. Unable to fill those first 30 seconds. Bari Musaur in Zombie coming out next. Looking for his first W Freestyle Championship. Like I said in racing, he was a killer on the throwdown, uh, on the uh, throwback tour, excuse me, last season. So far this season, he's been struggling. He's going to go for the jammer to kick us off. He's running into some lag issues here uh, tonight in the freestyle competition. Curious if that's going to affect his performance at all. I would hope not, but anything's possible, man. We've seen some uh, <laughs> some instances of trucks going down for less than lag. I'll tell you that much. Oh, oh, in trouble there, but he gets an incredible save. I have no idea how he pulled that thing out. What a move. From Bari Musaur, first 30 seconds are now full after he already got an incredible save. Uh, we'll see if he can get up towards the top of the leaderboard tonight. I would love to see it. He's Team Mayhem. Team Mayhem is in the lead. I would love to see Team Thunder come back and make some points up. But if Zombie could reclaim some of his glory from last season, I would love to see it, man. It's been a while since we've seen Bari Musaur take a win. He's going to combo up. Look at the little cross-thread combo there. From the racing lane into the double. That was nice. He's going to go for another combo here as he stuffs it right into that uh, trench box there. Oh, a little cross. Oh! Oh! Stuffs the front end into the cars. And he's looking for a save. Oh, oh. Well, I was going to say, of course he can get it. But no, down he goes. That's going to be a 16.25 for Bari Musawar tonight in Zombie. Going down way too early. Um, yeah, doesn't doesn't get the win like I like I wanted to see. Next out on the track, though, it's Shane Lake in Gravedigger. An incredible driver here so far this season. One of the best drivers, the best driver points-wise, for sure, on Team Thunder. So he's coming out here tonight, looking like he's going to... Lo looks like he's going to try and beat out Jake Cranford at his own game here. The Gravedigger boys coming out here for slap wheelies down the ramp. And it doesn't work out too well for, <laughs> for Shane Lake. So that means he needs to go hard on this run uh, just to uh, make up for <laughs> maybe a little bit of embarrassment there for a, for a failed opening move. Shane Lake definitely can turn it up, man. He's He has one W Racing Championship under his belt. Another uh, Debbie runner-up uh, position from Tampa, Florida. Great save there off of the sidewalls. Got into some trouble, but is able to bring it back down. And uh, Shane Lake has the skills to do it, man. Gets up on the sidewalls again, but like I said, the skills to bring it back down. He'll be getting a score for this run as he's past those first 30 seconds. Backside of the vans, massive leap. And he keeps it off the barriers, getting close. But keeps it off. Keeps it clean. You love to see it. A minute left on the clock. He absolutely skies that thing over the triple. What a hit there. A little combo off the, the opposite direction that we're seeing that triple get hit. Oh, backflip time. Beautifully done. Nice moonwalk as well. Oh, now this could get him. Oh, I was going to say this could get him in trouble. But he's, he's going away from it. This got Bari into trouble. But it's Shane Lake. Shane Lake absolutely kills it. What a landing there from Shane Lake in this Gravedigger truck. He's all over the place in the corner. You got to be careful. Don't want to end up in an awkward spot with that ramp. Because like we saw, Cynthia Gauthier is going to get you in trouble. Oh, coming in hot. Hits the barrier big time. That's gonna. They are going to shut him off this time. Uh, 21 seconds left on the clock for Shane Lake in Gravedigger. They do let him refire. Can he get that momentum back, that energy back that he's been feeling this entire run? Nice leap over the double. Getting it done. And up the ramp we go. Looks like he's going to air it out. He's killing a lot of time. You definitely probably want to uh, <laughs> hit this at the beginning of the run. But air is air, man. Look at the leap 
from Shane Lake in Gravedigger to close out the run. And he's going to stop it before the barriers this time. That's going to be a 31.75 for Shane Lake in Gravedigger. Solid score. Definitely not where uh, <laughs> Team Thunder would like him to end up on the uh, leaderboard. But killing it so far man a great great run zach and Tizana in max d representing team mayhem hitting the track for freestyle tonight looking to turn it up looking for his first w freestyle championship has yet to get a freestyle championship has two racing championships under his belt though so far this season we'll see if that continues at all throughout the rest of the season looks like zach and is going to start us out with a big leap just like I said, you want to hit that first. He heard me. Two minutes on the clock, a big leap. Not topping what we saw from Shane Lake or the other uh, leapers, <laughs> I guess you're going tonight. Um, but, hey, a big hit to start out the run, and he's keeping it on all fours, which you love to see. Another big hit there. Massive leap over the double. He's going for a backflip already as well before those first 30 seconds come to a close. That is a dangerous move. You know, a backflip can be simple, can be straightforward, can be easy, but there's always a chance that you're going to mess it up and you could end up upside down. So big risk factor equals big points, but got to be careful getting close to the wall. They are very close. Might have tapped it. Couldn't see it from the angle we were at, but he might have tagged the wall there. But letting them continue, though. It's having a solid run. Oh, yeah. Nice. Great momentum stoppy. First time we're seeing that move tonight, I believe. I don't remember anybody else bringing that out. And that is going to get us to the halfway point. He's in trouble here. Gets a save. Well, ends up on the wall. He is able to free fall off of it, so he should be able to keep the run going. But, um, <laughs> man, keep it off the wall, guys. Come on. 55 seconds left on the clock as he refires. The clock will continue when he hits his next move. Um, I don't love that he's setting up a move. I would love to see him get back into the freestyle, get back into the energy and the momentum. Uh, but he's setting something up here that could be huge. Going to go for a stoppy for sure. 55 seconds. Getting started. Is he going to go for a moon flip? He is. Oh. Doesn't work out, but that was still something cool. Does get a hard side slap, and down he goes with 41 seconds left on the clock. All that setup was not worth it. That's going to be a 19.25 for Zach Antizana. A lot of setup that ended up in a failed move that ended up in a roll. And we are already to our final truck of the night. I don't know about you guys, but it flew by for me. Uh, I don't know how we're already here. Blake Thompson in Hypershock. The only truck eligible for the W Double Down tonight and one of the only trucks and drivers that I feel are truly capable of it here tonight. I mean, obviously he's the only one capable of it. He's the only one that won racing. But he, he's one of the ones that I could truly see taking the freestyle championship. Bryce Kenny, obviously his run is already done, but he could take it. We'll see how Blake Thompson does. He's doing an amazing stoppy, beautifully controlled down the ramp. And I think I would give that more score, more points than, uh, oh, wow, okay. That's a way to open the run. <laughs> Not the smoothest way to open the run, but that is a way to open the run. Nicely done. Very interesting move from Blake Thompson. Um, I, I totally lost where I was at. I have no idea. 30 seconds are complete, though, so he'll be getting a score for this run. Blake Thompson looking for his first freestyle champ, or excuse me, his fourth freestyle championship, his first W double down of the season. He's going to go right into the center. Nicely done. Complete, uh, like a beautiful downside on the van in the car there. Going for a butt kicker. Decides he's missing that window, so he keeps the run going. Gets out of it. Nice leap. Cross thread over that car stack. He's having a good run. I don't know if this is going to take the win, though. And he's going to go for, yep. Oh, wow. And he gets it. He gets it successfully this time. Was unable to get it in Tampa, Florida. Gets it tonight. Oh, my goodness, man. These, these MTL guys are insane. Charlie Parkin with an insane 
an insanely underscored run earlier tonight. And now Blake Thompson with Hypershock. He's in trouble. Oh, you are kidding me. Down he goes with 21 seconds left on the clock. And that's going to be 23.38 to close out the night. So, I mean, yeah, Bryce Kenny able to hold that top spot all night long. Let's get a look at the leaderboard here in just a second. But Blake Thompson unable to get that W double down. What a night of competition, man. There were some awkward runs. There were some bad scores. I'll give you that. But a great night of competition. Mohawk Warrior ends up with 38 tonight. Preston Perez and Monster Mo Rottweiler with 34.5. Stabilizer with 32.75. And Bro Camino, Cam McQueen with 32.5. 31.75 for Shane Lake in Gravedigger. 31 for Jake Cranford in Gravedigger. 28 for both Charlie Pawkin and EJ Hyden in Blue Thunder. And uh, Avenger ends up with 25. Hypershock with that 23.38. Northern Nightmare with 21. And Max D for Team Mayhem with 19.25. Blown Money ends up with 17. Zombie with 16.25. And Max D and Bad Company for Team Thunder and Team Mayhem both taking zeros, which means they both get zero season points for tonight. That's going to be Hypershock still holding the season lead with 93-81 for Max D on Team Mayhem. Gravedigger for Team Thunder with 78 and 66 for Mohawk Warrior and for Zombie. Subbed out for the next show. Bro Camino ends up with 63. Avenger Devin Barber with 61 and Blown Money right about that halfway point with 60 points to his name. Blue Thunder ends up with 57 in a three-way tie between him, Bad Company, and Gravedigger for Team Mayhem. Team Thunder's Max D with 48 points. Lucas Stabilizer ends up with 42. Northern Nightmare ends up with 40. Monster Mutt Rottweiler ends up with 33. And our sub, Charlie Pawkin in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, closes out his season with 11. He will not be back. But look at this. A, what is that, 14-point difference between Team Thunder and Team Mayhem. Team Thunder closing the gap. Can they make it up next show? We'll be heading to El Paso. It's going to be an exciting one. Who will come out on top by the end? If you guys enjoyed tonight's show, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We got new episodes every Saturday, and we got all kinds of extra content over on the ROR-SRPS Instagram. Early access to Luis Racing Bracket, Pit Party Pictures, and more daily content over there. Check out the ROR-SRPS store for all kinds of ROR SRPS merch, including uh, lock screens and stickers. Uh, we got some free stuff, some dollar stuff, and some uh, $2 sticker, $5 sticker. It comes back to the channel, supports it directly, and I really appreciate it, guys. But also check out the channel partner, Dubby, for some good, clean, jitterless energy in the form of Dubby's energy powders. Get 10% off using code ROR SRPS at checkout, and definitely check out the Beach and Peach flavor if you enjoy mango slash peach flavors. That is their mango white peach cooler. It's absolutely delicious. They also have some caffeine-free hydration blends, and they're all delicious. Check out some incredible flavors that I haven't mentioned, that I haven't tried. You can try them. And let me know how they are. But thank you guys so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Stick around. We'll be back next Saturday on the Biggest and Baddest Tour.